Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Borderlands Weekly Video Podcast thingy. I forgot the date, so it's some day in January that's a Wednesday, because it's comic day and it's, it's fun. I'm currently being engulfed by a Pacific Rim giant monstrous Cherno Alpha, A. So, I bet you guys can figure out that he came in this week. So, I'm going to put this beast down there. Okay. So. What's up? All kinds of stuff going on. We've got um, some stuff to talk about for South Carolina Comic Con today. We've got all kinds of comics, graphic novels, toys, statues. And without any further ado, Dancing Groot Pop Vinyls are here. Get them while you can. I do not expect them to last long. Um, make sure you Facebook us, call us, email us, send a smoke signal, whatever you need to do to let us know that you want one. We'll be glad to hold one for you. Ah, uh, Dancing Groot, stay. Okay. What else? So let's go through a couple announcements. So this weekend, I um, believe it will be the 17th. We're having an X-Wing store championship. Uh, it will be massive. There will be X-Wing ships all over the store. Uh, maybe as many as 40 guys in here playing. Thanks to Eric Jolly for doing that, by the way. He's a good dude. Um, so if you have never seen X-Wing, come in and check it out. Star Wars obviously is really big right now, and uh, the game is really fun. There's a ton of guys playing it. You don't have to paint any miniatures. Uh, they have more core sets, which is the uh, kind of the base game coming out soon, so those will be available. So feel free to check with us on that. Mentioning Star Wars, I don't know if y'all heard, there's this movie thing coming out this year, and these guys, uh, Disney something or another, they bought this Marvel company or another or something, and apparently they bought you know, the rights to Star Wars, blah, 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 blah. And, truth be known, Dark Horse was, you know, they lost the license, Marvel got it back. And today, Star Wars 1 comes out. John Cassidy, Jason Aaron, Laura Martin on the colors. There's a far color in here. Let me check, because I don't remember. I'm not going to fib you guys. We've got so much going on. I can't remember hardly anything, and it's not on the first page because that would make it so, so easy. So Micah will probably put up uh, colors. Yes, colorist Laura put up uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm an idiot. So, um, so Laura Martin will also be coming to South Carolina Comic Con. The person that colored this will be there. How amazing is that? We might even have copies. It's crazy. So, there's one cover. There's another cover. There's another cover. This is the party variant. There's another cover. They stole the rabbit thing from Neil Adams back in the day. Bucky O. Never mind. You can look it up. And there's another cover right there. In case you guys didn't know, there's a lot of variant covers. There's another cover. That's not really a cover. It's more of a, a, a blank template for you to create your own cover and you can even do your own back cover so you can do like a cover and you could do like an ad these two ads they were cool and there's another cover that's a scotty young cover it's a pretty awesome cover and then there's another cover and then there's another cover and i probably don't even have all the covers up here because there's a lot of covers i don't know if you picked up on that so we have every cover for star wars We've got all the different variants uh, feel free to check it out if you're interested in any of that stuff shoot us a message give us a buzz by the time you're seeing this it's probably faster to call us because we can grab it off the rack we might be busy on Wednesday and not see a Facebook message all right so con stuff too who all we got so uh, Laura Martin confirmed um, Chris Schweitzer confirmed he is awesome um, if you have not read any of the Krogan's books they are fantastic um, and there's more I just don't remember so check sccomiccon.com. I'm going to do it now instead of later. Check sccomiccon on Facebook. Uh, you can also check the store on Twitter, you know, the con on Twitter. We've now got an Instagram thingy on the World Wide Interweb. You can check that as well. And I believe we even got, speaking of, I think we had a uh, book review on Unbeatable Squirrel Girl that's up on Borderlands.us. 
that went up uh, last week as well. So there's some fun stuff to look at. All right, so Wolverines, number two. I really wanted to yell Wolverines like in Red Dawn. Don't judge me. All right, 13 coins for our buddy Michael Jackson, who will be at the show. The right of 13 coins, great guy. And this, I believe, is the New York, yeah, the New York Comic Con exclusive cover. So Mike will be there. Um, Green Lantern Corps 38. Star Wars The Q Gambit. Kind of fun. Star Trek The Q Gambit. I'm stuck in Star Warsville. My fault. I'm sorry, Mr. Shatner. Thanos versus Hulk. FBP. <laughs> Amazing X Men. Avengers. Jibber Jabber Dog. We're trying to move quick. More Avengers. Number 40, and that was 40.2, I think. Uh, Arrow season 2. Point something or another. 2.5. All new Captain America, Go Sam, Captain Marvel 11, Spider Verse 2, Deadpool with a goofy cover, number 40, Cyclops 9, Daredevil with somebody, what would you call that, bridge diving? And he's going, oh no, see, he's going, oh no, I don't know what that is, I'm feeling he's probably going to be okay. And then Grayson also bridge diving, it's a theme this week between the companies with Flash running up behind him. It, it's kind of in shadow, but I, I think he's, he's really saying, oh no, I don't know. So, Jupiter Legacy 5 from Image, Malar World. Hey, what is it? Oh, I forgot to hear today. Mortal Kombat, and he's saying, get over here. And I couldn't agree more. It's Wednesday. You should be buying stuff, so get over here. And then we've got Lazarus and Miles Morales, the ultimate shield Spider Man, the new Suicide Squad, Rai from our buddies at Valiant. Even has an ad for Divinity Number One from Valiant. Valiant. I really like Valiant. You guys have been in the shop. We've done exclusive covers with Valiant more than once, several times actually. We've done exclusive free comic book day covers with Valiant. How about if we brought Valiant to South Carolina Comic Con? I think that would be kind of cool. There's more details coming, but Valiant is coming to South Carolina Comic Con. So if you're a Valiant fan, you're stoked. But if you're not, you're probably going to be after you meet the guys. Because they're all awesome. Robert Venditti, Brian Reber, Louis LaRosa, among other guys. Uh, Wilfredo Torres. Um, and there's some other guys as well that have worked on their books. They're great books. You should give them a read once you meet the creators and, and maybe even some other folks at the company. Uh, if you're there, by the way, bring donuts. I'll introduce you to Adam Freeman. He'll love that. So, anyways, Valiant is coming to South Carolina Comic Con. It's going to be awesome. All right. World's fine. It's 30. Shield number two. Or is this two? Yes, yeah, shield two. Looks like that's Marvel Girl. Because she's marvelous or something. Uh, Walking Dead 130 something or another. 136. All right. Got those. For the youngsters that are always seeing Stan Lee in the Marvel movies, it's a little $5 book. Who is Stan Lee? And it's a great little book. It's it's uh, words and and pictures, and it's like a little mini biography. It's really cool. I think they'll like it. So if you've got kids that have been watching him, they want to know more about Stan Lee, they can learn about him. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I follow Brad Meltzer, and I don't get time to read a lot of stuff on Facebook. He's a really positive guy. I love what he does. And he wrote a book about one of my personal heroes, which is Jackie Robinson. Um, so any of these I Am books by Brad Meltzer we carry. They're amazing books. Steve Russo does an amazing job on the artwork. Um, or Christopher Iliopoulos, excuse me, does a great job on the artwork. And they're good. They're a great read. Kids love them. I've read them. And I think they're really, really fun. And uh, so let's give it a shot. What else we got, guys? Avengers. Time runs out. Road to Civil War. Apparently the Civil War thing's happening. I don't know. Everybody seems excited about it. Deadpool Classic Volume 4. It's a restock. Flash Volume 4. Toys moving to your left. And I got this, what, Boombox? Is this Boombox? Yeah, Boombox Mixtape 2014. <laughs> Star Wars 1 through 44 and Annual 1. Apparently, when Marvel got their rights back, they felt the need to reprint the original Marvel run of Star Wars. And there it is. 
uh, Batman Black and White Volume 4. That's probably a restock as well. Rachel Rising Volume 5. Pajanga. Manifest Destiny Volume 2. The bazillions of you guys that bought Manifest Destiny Volume 1. Here you go. Now you can get 7 through 12. And it's awesome. So read it. It's really good. I like it. All right. Now, toys. I didn't set this up today. So I have no freaking idea what's up here. This is really cool because I wasn't smart enough to even look. So we're going to learn together. So there's this great big Batman Kuro Bukia uh, statue here. Marvel Select Green Goblin with Peter Parker tied up, getting hung off the sled. Kind of a classic for me to cover. Uh, we've got in with artifacts, looks like Iron Man, and artifacts, something else that I can't tell from behind, but but it might actually be another Iron Man. This is possible. I'm being nodded at from behind the screen. And then uh, we've also got Big Hero 6. We've got the alien pod thingy. It's actually a bank. It won't hurt you. It won't pop out with a face hugger. Unless you don't feed it. If you don't save your money, kitties, face hugger will get you. Hikari Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Rob Sosby, he's looking at you. I'm just saying. The Batman, Batman and Joker figures. The small Japanese figures. These are really, really cool. I like these a lot. Attack on Titan, Wonder Woman statue, the build of figures for my little pony. Green Ranger, something down there. I think it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Hero Clicks. We also got the Reaction Alien figures. Appropriate since we have the uh, little thing down there, the piggy bank. We got Rick Grimes and Michonne Walking Dead figures. And we got the Imaginex figures in. These are really cool. I know a lot of you guys have been coming in with your kids or coming in with younger siblings. And we've been wanting some figures for the younger guys. So we started to you know, carry these Imaginex figures. And I think that's all the stuff. So everything's in. Um, whatever the comics, whatever the guests, South Carolina Comic Con. There's that Star Wars thing. Did I mention the Star Wars thing? We've got all these covers. Did I mention all the covers? I think I did. There's all these Star Wars covers. So. We have a lot of them, so if you want like a bunch, it's okay. You can let us know. We can plant a garden with them or something and grow a new empire. It could happen. It's possible. You just have to believe. All right, so there we go. We're done. I rambled a lot today. I have not had enough caffeine, and I'm trying to stay awake. So, you guys, stop wasting your time. Get back to work. Maybe work some overtime so you can buy more Star Wars covers. That would be great. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Thanks for tuning in to the weekly video podcast thingy.